In his special report for the Sarawak polls, Patrick Chin visited the Dudong constituency in Cebu, where the fight for the seat is between five candidates. Here in Dudong constituency, one can clearly see the urban-rural divide. Here, it's about 50-50 Bumiputra and Chinese voters in composition, which means it can go either way for Parisa National and the opposition. Dr Faisal Haziz, who is familiar with the Merdeka Census Survey on voting patterns in Sarawak, said rural voters who supported the opposition because of development woes in the last election might come back to Barisan National after the government's pledge to develop the rural areas. In this particular election, again, economic issues will become the main concerns. But in the rural areas, this is where, again, the urban-rural divide uh, will come into play. In the last state sitting, the state government announced that they're going to allocate 6 billion ringgit for development and uh, more than half of that will go for rural development. It's a marginal seat and since you have a significant number of Bumiputra voters here, I think this would be a shaky seat for, for DAP. Dudong is considered a marginal seat, with DAP garnering a majority of only 317 votes over Barisan National in the last election. However, BN's chance might still be hurt by the intense fight between SUPP and UPP, when Sarawak Chief Minister Adnan Satem fielded Datuk Tiong Tai King from UPP over Datuk Sri Bani Lee of SUPP as a BN direct candidate. Of course, we have to follow the uh of uh, Adenan's decision. I know that this is a very tough job to get uh, so many Chinese voters to turn over to support Barisan, but I think the Chinese voters they already they know who can lead our, our, our country. Lee sees Barisan National's preference of Tiong as a setback for Dudong and SUPP, hence his decision to quit SUPP and stand as an independent candidate. I never thought that I would become an independent candidate one day. I was every day hoping that, you know, uh, decisions can be reversed. If CM can choose any BN direct candidate or any other person, then I will that do Tion Tai King. I will fully support him. I'm not saying that that do Tion Tai King is not good, you know. But it's just that we have lost two time. With the fight between SUPP and UPP hitting up, and the Dudong seat seeing a five-cornered fight, which also includes DAP's Yap Hoi Leong, Stars Meriting and independent Kasper Kayong. It will be one of the most closely watched seats come polling day on May 7th. I'm Patrick Chin for the Star TV.